Coming up, Blowcore, menswear's newest trend, dressing for the football pub. Being a hooligan is a thing again. Being a lad, as I've heard it is in the UK. That's what we're going to talk about on this edition of Depraved and Debaucherous. Thanks for listening in and watching. I'm King of Podcasts. Inside Hook, and I took from another source here, Vice, talking both about Bloke Core, B-L-O-K-E, Core. So bloke is like a, it's an English-British term for a guy or a dude or a lad or whatever, a pal, whatever. Okay. So now the footy look is becoming something popular now in the States. So story comes in here, and when you think of soccer stars, right, you think of Cristiano Ronaldo, you think of Diego Maradona, all this kind of stuff, right? The joy of watching soccer or football. And, you know, we all get into that mood, especially when we get our Vuvuzelas like I used to, watching the World Cup. And it's now becoming a thing on TikTok. A growing fashion that drew inspiration from UA, United Kingdom or British pop culture. And now it's playing homage to the lowly lad nominal and effective descriptor for your average, if not slightly schlubby British fellow. And now you're starting to see the look is wearing vintage vintage soccer jerseys or kits along with battered boot cut jeans or jorts, you know, jean shorts and soccer inspired trainers a la the Adidas Samba the sign the mirror and outfit that you might see at your local pub come game day. And it began in late 2021 and now has started to be a big thing on TikTok where hundreds of videos are predominantly featuring young Gen Z men displaying soccer centric looks for invested viewers on the platform. The blow cord tag has now gotten more than 8 million views of many of the coming the last month and getting real success. And you can look at where we have right now. This is not a new thing, but they're saying that, you know, the idea of incorporating sporting aesthetics into fashion isn't. We at least see a lot of people with, you know, jerseys on whatever it is, football or, or, or basketball or baseball for that matter. And now we're starting to see it more here in this. Football inspired, inspired fashion has been common in the industry. And so the Adidas Samba rework has been sold out immediately. Resale values on secondary markets are crazy. And they go a lot into what's going on here. Organized soccer with top tier clubs are valued at billions of dollars. And it's just starting to pick up a little bit here in the States where you can watch Premier League action or UEFA Champions League or whatever there is. Like there's that going on if you watch in the morning, things like that. Maybe some of these kids are starting to watch some of it. That's what's going on. And you know what? The look's cool. Like the whole stripes and the whole rugby kind of look to it. I like it. And then they talk about how there's a generation of Gen Z youth coming to an age on social media looking to the 90s and early aughts with a glassy eye unknowingly admiration. And that blow core struck a chord and permeated fashion and style circles because it's impossibly niche and objectively fucking hilarious. The act of dressing as a character leads for a bit or two appears to be training, gaining traction, with trend forecasters predicting a maximalist reverberation in response to COVID-19. So to embracing your inner bloke. It's built around the old world soccer jersey. Vintage is the name of the game that usually the Shirts are usually heavier, boxer, more wettable than modern kits. Designed for professional athletes, children, and nobody in between. So it's easy to compile. Slap on a pair of your favorite stain ready jeans, grab a pint, and have fun just being a bloke, whether you're catching a match on the telly or not. Listen, it's not that sound like it's a bad thing here. It's very masculine type of gear, as a matter of fact. So there's another story from where there were a number of lads being talked to by vice.com. And they all happen to be fans of footy, fashion, and TikTok. And as we know, the aesthetic has been out there. And the difference is now it's an internet fad among young people, including Americans. And even the word bloke is starting to be used now <clears throat> very random. So much older, the casuals, they would talk about watching football. The origin of casual culture is debated, but it was actually supposed to start in the late 70s after the 60s mod culture and or modular you would say right like the stuff you would see there in the british invasion at that time mid to late 60s 
The casuals appear to take the footy lifestyle and fashion a lot more seriously. Back in the day, they would have been called scarfers by the casuals. And that you would never wear a replica kit and never people knowing who they supported really. So when I look at some of the pictures here and I see the look of it, it's not looking too bad. So people are just kind of going this route. I don't think it's not a bad thing because some of the gear, especially when you have soccer uniforms or shirts, like I see a lot of, first of all, a lot of Latin Americans do it. A lot of Mexicans, you'll see them, especially on weekends, they'll go and wear the, the, those type of shirts. And those, they're cool looking. They got good looks. They got the stripes. They got the whole setup. Actually, it's really cool all together. Anyway, that's the whole story of that. So if people want to have their vices, they want to go ahead and change your look up. They want to look like rugby uniform. They want to have the stripes. They want to be blokes, let them. And let those blokes be depraved and debaucherous.